YouTube. I am once again back with The Long Haul, episode 24. If you may notice it's a little bit later in the morning than I usually start up at for an episode. And that's because in the last episode I died once again. Not to worry, just uh, I ran all the way back uh, overnight. Well, most of the way back overnight, you had to juke some zombies, and that was a fun little experience, but. I thankfully managed to to uh, juke the zombies and and keep them at bay. I'll just throw my stuff back on here. Just give me one little second while I do that, and because I didn't grab all my bags. There we go. That should be most of the tools and everything like that. Got I got a curly uh, having this fun in the garage, and yeah, I wanted to. Run back and uh, grab some stuff. So we're just uh, hanging out here on Twitch and all that. Just here doing more streams. I take care of these zombies really quickly. I was going to loot this passing gas in the night time, but I think it was pretty sure it was Curly there uh, who took who decided it was a great idea to smack me to death and stun me. And we got plenty of zombies over here. Come here. All of you. All of you get to run around. There you go. Just jump through that. Got caught by the bomb. We hook our wire a little bit. And just work slowly on clearing these guys out. Boop. And... That'll hold. Shouldn't be too hard to clear out. Come here. Take your looking. There you go. Oh, these zombies. Bam. They get to not have their head anymore. How unfortunate. We'll just break that open and um let's see if Curly's still Oh, he he went down. I'll serve him right. Big so rude last night. And let's just root and loot this little passing gas quickly. Well, would you look at that? Blueberry pie. I'll, gla I'll gladly take that. Take the jar, because why not? Also, take all the gas barrels in this place, because can always use more gas. Can never have enough of it. And grab that out of the pump. We'll just throw that into the mini bike for once we get back there. Uh, did I loot these storage lockers? And they can all just be the uh, just used for good old storage and all that. Um, for cloth, my apologies. Got to get a leather duster out of that, which is nice to see. And we'll just break through here really quick. Not quite one shotting with the steel axe, but. Eh, we'll, uh, we'll get there eventually. Just gotta merge a bunch of stuff. Have a drink of that. And we'll just grab the jars. We'll see, uh... It's in the bookcase here. Pistol book. Take it for the gunsmithing. Not that I really need it anymore. 44 magnum parts. That's really good. Don't need a snowberry. Uh, don't... Nothing in there. And we'll see what's in the dukes. Yep, nine dukes. We'll take those. And, yeah, not really too much out of the front there. Let's see what's in the bag. We'll just throw that shotgun barrel into the iron pile. And we'll just see what's in the, the brass trophy. We don't... Yeah, I was starting a brass pile. Been a couple days since I last threw and it's coming off of... So... What do you got? Sink? Uh, nothing. And we just gotta break into here really quickly. And we'll just check the roof and all that for whatever there may be. Oh, would you look at that? Another level in scavenging. That's really good to hear. I, can act, I think I'll be able to invest into Quality Joe here in a little bit. Um, trash, nothing in there. And a piece of wood. Say, I thought there was a corpse in there. Up here. 
I'll actually just take that leather duster and we'll just we'll for the time being we'll actually just run over to to the passing you know, well to the mini bike over here hello old friend and no don't try to repair it come on there we go we'll just throw that we'll throw the gas barrels in and we'll just use the gas to refuel and I think that's basically about it for the for the looting around here you know I'm thinking you know it's not because of the death or anything like that it's I just feel it would be a good a good time to uh, run back to uh, run back to home and uh, get some more base building done so I'll let you know once I can get back home and uh, maybe I'll just make a trader stop on the way so I'll let you know once I stop by a trader Well, YouTube, I'm coming up on our kind of home trader, trader wrecked. I figured if we're gonna stop at a trader. We'll we'll stop over and see him, see if what he's got for his uh, various goods here. Hopefully, he's got something decent for me. Trader wrecked. I'm here. As much as you probably don't want to see me, but I am back once again. What you got for me, big guy? Huh? Uh, how about I empty your pockets? No. How about no? Um, I will sell you a couple leather dusters for you. Do you guys think good for me? Night vision goggles. Some good iron gloves. That wouldn't be too bad to get if I have the money for it at home. Um. Shotgun, hunting rifle, some some other stuff like not too bad of stuff here. Nothing in the book section. Tool and die set. Don't really need it. Um, shotgun barrel. Really some. I mean, a good mining helmet. Help out with my um, my you know, keep myself protected. Oh yeah, you can you can have this. There we go. Oh, uh, what do I want to buy off them? Um, I'll buy a couple hop seeds just for just for uh, for all this. So sell them some antibiotics. I got plenty of those. And oh, come on, trigger wrecked. Trigger wrecked you. Just give me the three op seeds. Dude, oh, I'm like Night Duke short. We'll just sell those to him. I don't usually uh, sell Anwai to him because I just refine it, but. All that damn gawking at goods and that's all you buy? I'll try to actually have some decent sock cream, please, but. As I was saying, uh. You know, I want the hop seed. It's like, uh. Just be nice to grow beer, yo. Uh. Because I don't know if I have enough beer to get, um, you know, to obtain the test, uh, well, obtain the, to do the quest for, uh, taking out a couple zombies so, while, uh, while drunk, so. But, yeah, we're just heading back over to base here, and I want to do some more, uh, base building here, you know, just to get it, you know, I want to get it squared off and and all that good stuff, and I think I'm still good on iron. We'll just have to check here in a second once I get back up the get back up the crack of a ladder. Just give you one second, folks. Um, got another deer. It seems like this deer's local, but oh, see you later. We'll just harvest them up real quick for the meat. It's, like, I did accidentally run a deer over on the way home. It's like a couple interesting little kind of random areas I found. It's like there was like a pond with some trees or anything, and it's like I took a little look at it. Not really a gun safe in there, but it's really a one of those that's like couldn't find much and got 16 more steel going, so. Uh, 
One second, I want to throw some stuff in the chest and all that magnum in, and then we'll throw in the the sawed off, and then we'll throw in the regular shoddy stuff and and the extra hunting rifle. It's one of those we'll just uh, have a slow but uh, build a sure build up of this stuff here, but show you the progress on the base after I merge my... Oh, hey, look, one of my new pickaxes. Um, you did get better, much better range, I figured. Yeah, you know, we'll just uh, throw those together. We'll throw the... throw the pickaxe in. There we go. And, uh... Yeah. So this is the new base. It's uh, coming to come along nicely, I must say. It's uh, it's got a couple finishing touches that need to be done on it. Like um, it needs a couple, it needs a couple metal garage doors, and like on this side of the base here, it's like got bars for zombie protection. And what I plan on for just a bit more zombie protection is to make some. Uh, Make a, make a whole bunch of hatches uh, going down each side and upgrade them to metal. And, uh, and why, you might ask? It's because I realize, like, give me a second while I run over to uh, the first horde base. <laughs> it's because I still want to use the blunderbuss and have it be a... You know, I enjoy the blunderbuss a lot, and and so... But I had problems with uh, this horde base over here. This was my kind of first iteration of it, and it's like... It not exactly... It's not the worst design on paper, but the zombies have a... Have a big reach and everything, and, uh... Well, the... And sometimes I find that, uh, zombies... Like, if no zombies pile up, like, uh, the... They can squeeze in. It's... On my day 14 horde night, I had a... Had a zombie squeeze in with me, uh, squeeze in between these bars and actually get stuck and they started smacking me around. I almost, I almost died as a result of that, which I did die later in the Horde Night. But it was one of those I had to, I had to kind of bail out because of that result and, uh, I figure if I'm going to go with the, uh, the double pull design, I'm going to need to keep, uh, Give uh, give myself some hatches, so it's one of those. It's a one of those. I'm taking precautions against that, and I also got my stuff in the mini bike. One second, and it's why I've been collecting. Uh, but the base is why I've been collecting a whole bunch of mechanical parts. You know, it's a it's a matter of I need to get myself uh, get myself protection or anything like that. Got most of the mini bike stuff, but it's just one of those having fail saves. It, I really can't have too many fail saves on a on a horde base and all that stuff. It's it's just a good idea to have extra fail saves in that time. So yeah, and of course with this base, it's like uh, that's all. That building is only the beginning of one half of the base. It's a it's going to require a lot of resources in terms of concrete to do, so it's going to be one of those that's like a, bit, a slow but sure build-up of it and all this, so. Um, I do want to at least do some looting, a little bit more looting before I get carried away with it, and, you know, I do want to check to see just how many mechanical parts I do have at the moment. We'll just throw that in. These chests will be a lot more organized once uh, once I move into the new base. Like I'll have some brand new uh, chests to just start throwing stuff in, and they will be hopefully a a lot more built out, and you know it should just help out a lot more. So yeah. Um, we're li I need like 48 mechanical parts, and I still need to 
Bridge some more down. That's why I want to go loot and just let me grab the. Want to make sure I just grab the rest of the stuff out of here. Those electrical parts, brass car radiators, and and the uh, dirt. Even though I, uh, I mean, dirt can be useful for a lot of things. It can be useful for leveling, uh, miscellaneous crafting, and all that. Brass radiator, we'll just uh, we'll just throw in for some extra brass in the forge, and then sometime I have to start looking. I'm gonna start looking into getting a mine so I don't have to just to uh, start getting into uh, well I don't have to run around in the in the base uh, we'll run around and look for more resources as time goes on because as much as I love the big boulders there there are a lot of um, it could be a lot of a hassle so let's just take a get back on the mini bike and we'll take a look at where I can go for some extra mechanical parts. I think maybe the Poppin' Pills has a has a respawn on Louie as well, so we can at least loot that for some wellness. Um, we'll, we'll have to take a take a peek. I know I can wrench cars down for mechanical parts and all that, but, you know, I don't it's like they don't give that many out. Let's just, but we're gonna cruise over to you crack a book. I'll actually take a look at the... One second here, we'll take a look at this car and also get on top of the, uh, the, this junkyard here, like this kind of dumpster. Just see what's in this book bag. Um, hunting rifle parts. Eh, not really that, not really that exciting. What's in you? Not a... Okay. You know, can't, you can't always have a home run on loot, everybody. It's like, sometimes you gotta have your downsides of looting. But yeah, here we are back to the old, kind of the old, uh, poppin' pills here. So, let's see if it's respawned. Yes, it has. It actually has. I was thinking to myself, if the shotgun messiah has respawned, it's probably, this is probably respawned too, but, uh, check the cash register. We'll just see how much we get out of this area. If anything, it will provide me some loot for uh, um, med kits, which can definitely use. Can't have enough of those. Uh, gas can schematic. Or I don't think I need uh, any more science points anymore to like in case I ever need to build um, chemistry stations. That's what I was thinking. Sorry, a little brain fart there. But we're just kind of looting through all this. It's like, these can be valuable just for the, just for the good old, uh, um, these can be perfectly valuable for, for vitamins early on, but to me it's like at this point, like, you know, popping pills is uh, very good for having the resources to make med kits. Just, oh. A zombie. I was like, I was, I was wondering where you were at. I was take you out real quick. There you go. And search the car while we're at it. Thank you for the lead. I will take it. I'll just search this old shopping cart here. I was thinking to myself, I was like, does the poppin' pills still have shopping carts that can raid and all that? Um, thankfully, it still does. So. Pick up that shopping basket. I don't know what level mine on my mini bike is at the moment. There we go. There is. That's why I was one the um, the vitamins. Those are so valuable to help out. And the uh, it's like it's, if you're low on wellness. So let's take that and we'll just have we'll read that schematic. Kind of was, even though it's like science is not the most useful thing in the world. We'll, it's it's good to take you know, just to because it you can just read it. And we'll just we're getting some first aid bandages out of this and antibiotics. We'll just scrap that and take those and then splints. They can stack pretty high, so kind of down to the last couple pill cases here. So. Oh. Forgot to loot that one apparently. We'll take it and take that splint. We'll just 
I have these vitamins here right out of the cases, so... As you can see, it's slowly increasing the old uh, wellness factor here. And we'll just grab that bandage, and I think we have most of the pill cases looted out front. And, you know, the green alcohol is valuable out of the popping pills, it can always help out. Fertilizer out of the cardboard box, we'll take it. Um, also, I want the blood packs. I'm just thinking to myself here, I'll just grab that nail. A little bit of brass, we'll leave that there for the time being. I can run to the mini bike really quickly, but final few hip hill cases in this one. Would you look at that? A, a, a bonus med kit and a first aid bandage. I, I can get a um, I can get all the resources and make it, make these uh, first aid kits very very easily, but sometimes it's kind of easy to forget. There are vitamins and one last plastic. Yeah, just there won't be much in these <laughs> these medical cabinets, but I think that's about it for the popping pills. I need to go collect some. I need to go collect some resources, so I'll start a mine. And uh, so yeah, give me a little. And I'll go do that, and I'll let you know if anything happens before nighttime, but. If not, I'll let you know once the night time rolls around. Alrighty, you two. I've been... Got done raiding that popping pills and, uh... Just doing... Uh, just setting up the basics for the mine here. Just wanted to make a... Hatch, because uh, I don't want to have a... I don't want to have a... Um... A zombie can decide to come and... Flatten me down here. It's just you know having having a little protection. It's about to become nighttime. I'm just gonna get down here in the mine, you know, just start getting mine up resources like stone. And, you know, I plan to be down here most of the night, you know, and just keep my safe uh, myself safe from zombies. Wish the wish the uh, hit boxes would be a little bit more. Um, a little less uh, wonky on this version, but can't really do much about that. It's just it's just the game being the game. So yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you take care. Have a great day.